What's up, everybody? Joe Brown here. This is the Heresy Financial Show, and I wanted to have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart with you guys. I know that the crypto crash is extremely painful for a lot of people right now. I've got a video coming out later today on uh, some of the other things that are happening right now, but right now I wanted to talk with you guys uh, about major losses. I know there's a lot of people experiencing some major, huge losses right now. Um, and I've seen some tweets going around, some things people are saying, man, I lost literally everything, 100% of my life savings, thinking about killing myself. So I wanted to have a little bit of a heart to heart with you guys about this, uh, because I've been there. Um, years ago, this was, um, it was right as I was getting started off as a broker, uh, really, really high on my horse, uh, uh, both naive and arrogant about my skills. And um, I had uh, I had started trading options. Um, I was doing uh, um, I was doing iron condors, which is basically two uh, um, credit spreads uh, at a time uh, on on a given uh, on a given security. And I was trading SPX um, options. And uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with any specific options trading strategy, uh, but uh, the the main thing is uh, never risk blowing up. If you study any of the major, the, the legendary investors throughout history, whether it's Warren Buffett or anybody else, investors and traders, the number one rule that they always stick to is never risk blowing up. Um, no matter what you do, you never get yourself into a position where if it goes against you, no matter how unlikely, that you could lose a major percentage of uh, your portfolio. Um, and that was something I both didn't really, I uh, had never really uh, been trained on, been told, but also would have ignored uh, in, in my hubris. And uh, I was making a lot of money. I was making more than I was making in my salary, even though my salary wasn't a, a lot at the time. Um, the amount that I was making from trading was a lot more than my salary. And uh, I was also training other brokers on how to trade options, um, like the mechanics of it. And uh, so I was, you know, kind of looked at myself as a little bit like a rising star, like a rock star in terms of like, you know, how successful I was with my trading, making a lot more money. And then I got more and more aggressive and uh, was placing trades that had a high likelihood of, uh, of success. But if they don't work out, then you've got a, uh, a, 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 a you would blow up basically. You, the, the total potential loss is huge, even though the chance of that happening is very low. Um, and so I got myself into a position where I placed a trade that should have gone my way in all likelihood statistically, and it didn't, and I blew up and I lost about 90% of my net worth. Um, at this time, I was making very little money. Um, I, my wife wasn't working, had a newborn baby at home, and um, I had been, you know, spent, you know, a couple of months of kind of like imagining, like thinking, just fantasizing, hey, like I'm, I'm getting rich from this. I'm getting wealthy from this. Like I'll be able to afford all these crazy things in the future. I'd put all my, I kept on putting all my uh, additional savings into uh, my trading account because I was like, hey, I'm making more with it than if I don't. So might as well continue to roll that into my success. And um, so when I blew up, it was very difficult. Um, it's, it's something that a lot of people go through in their life. Um, but, uh, most people don't, uh, uh, don't, aren't as aggressive to have something happen where they lose, you know, let's say up to 90% or a hundred percent of, uh, of everything that they have. And, um, mentally I understand cause I've been there. It's extremely difficult to get through. You get this sinking feeling in your stomach where like n nothing seems good anymore. Uh, that's all you can think about. You're stressed now about, you know, very stressed uh, financially. And, you know, maybe you can't fall asleep at night. Maybe you can't stay asleep uh, during the night. Um, going to work and now you're, you're making, you're, you know, you're making the same amount of money you were before, but now you don't have what you thought was going to be that giant nest egg, what you thought was going to be able to, uh, let you retire early, what you thought was going to be, you know, whatever it was that you were planning on doing with that, um, that's gone. And, uh, it's very difficult to get through mentally. You feel sad, you feel angry, frustrated, depressed, but ultimately you know that it's on you because you know, there were people out there that were telling you, Hey, you're being too aggressive. You need to be more conservative. And in your mind, your, your thought was something like have fun staying poor 
or I'm smarter than that, that can't happen to me, um, or I've done the math. Look, I'm smarter than everybody else in the room. Clearly, look at the scoreboard. Look at how much money I'm making. Then when it blows up, it's all on you. It's all on you, and you're just thinking, everybody else was right. I was majorly wrong. Now I have to you know, uh, eat everything that I said. Um, the bottom line, though, is that you get through it. And it is a, and it's, it's an expensive, uh, it's an expensive, uh, let's say lesson or, um, you know, like going to college university type of thing. It's a, it's an expensive lesson to learn. Um, but you get through it and, uh, there's, there's really, um, it, it is, it is one of the more important things in life. Um, but life itself is a lot more important. And the people around you are a lot more important. And um, I know it, it's probably not that many people out there that are seriously considering taking their lives as a result of uh, losing a, a large sum of money like this. But uh, bear that responsibility yourself. Take that pain and use it to, to improve in the future. If you end up taking your life as a result of something like this, you're not removing that pain. You are placing that pain on somebody else. You are taking that uh, that stress, that um, uh, that economic burden, um, and uh, and all that pain, and you're just saying you're saying that you don't want to bear the 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 consequence and the responsibility of your mistakes and your actions, and you're placing that all on all of your loved ones. And so it might not seem worth it to keep on moving forward and to keep on trying and to start over from scratch. But the alternative is forcing all of that burden on somebody else that you love and that loves you. So it's not worth it. Um, it's not worth it to, to, to do that. Um, take it, learn from it, and move forward because I can tell you from personal experience, I've been there. And I know that over time, that lesson will take you much farther than any success would have. Because this, if you allow it to, will shape the way you approach the future, looking at life as a series of asymmetric bets. Almost anything you do in life is an asymmetric bet, where the upside is different than the downside. Potential. It's impossible to know the odds of anything. So if you look at the total upside potential and the total downside potential, regardless of what the odds are either way, usually it's asymmetric to one side or the other. Anything in life that has an asymmetric risk to the downside, now you know you have to avoid that. Regardless of what the odds are, you avoid it at all costs. Anything in life that has an asymmetric bet to the upside, take that, regardless of what the odds are, because now you know things that should not happen can happen. Things that are statistically considered impossible happen all the time. And so if you take risks that are asymmetric to the upside, where the upside potential, no matter how unlikely, is way larger than the downside, unlikely things happen all the time. And so this will be a lesson that if you allow it to and you take the burden and you take the responsibility and you say, I'm not going to force this on those around me, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to take this burden and shield others from it and move forward, it will shape you in a way that will set you up for much more success long term than if you had never taken those risks and never blown up. It's an expensive lesson. Absolutely. It's a painful lesson. It's a depressing lesson. But if you bear the responsibility, it will propel you forward in ways that you would have never been able to imagine before, um, especially as you look at those around you who are completely risk averse. And no matter what the upside or downside is, they never take risks. They're treading water and they'll never move forward. Maybe they never move that far backwards. Maybe they just drift a little bit their whole lives, but they will never make massive leaps forward. So you've got the mentality to take the risks. You just need to measure not the odds or the likelihood but the total potential upside and potential downside and start to use asymmetric bets to your advantage instead of risking blowing up. Take that responsibility. Take that on yourself. Do not push that on others. This is not worth taking your life. Talk with those around you. Get help if you need it. Um, bear the responsibility and move forward and 
this lesson will propel you forward and you're going to look back in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years and say it was because of that very expensive lesson that I learned the way to properly take risks and you'll start to see the fruits of that later on. You'll plant the seeds, you'll grow your crops and you're going to harvest something later on that is much more than what you thought was ever possible. Just wanted to share that, give you some encouragement. It's long-term, it's hard work, it's painful, but don't throw in the towel. It's not worth it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day.